chosen ones. <laughs> if you know, you know. What's good, YouTube? It's your man, Ruben Wills. Back at it again. Make sure you guys subscribe. Hit the bell if you guys are brand new here. Join the family. I know I took a while to do the second video, but we're here now. We're here now. I had to pull up on you. We're balling in the car once again. This is basically my scene, my backdrop. This is what we're going to be using for the videos, so get used to it. By the way, quick shout out to all the people who subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. And thank you for joining the family. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about procrastination and the dangers of scenario. If you guys don't know what scenarios are, basically, I'm going to explain it. So yeah, procrastination has definitely played a part in my life. You know, a lot of people don't know that, but it has definitely been there for a long time. And the thing I've realized over time is that procrastination is actually a coping mechanism. What do you mean? Well, what I mean is that it's not that I lack motivation and it's not that I don't want to get stuff done. It's not a willpower thing. The coping mechanism is a slick one. It's definitely slick in terms of like you use it to fall back on. It's a way to comfort yourself by putting something off till tomorrow and going, nah, bro, I'll do it tomorrow, you know? And it kind of gives you a false sense of comfort by not getting done the things that you know you need to get done. And so I'm guilty of that at times. It's something I'm working on. Something I'm working on. Now, where the scenarios come into it, basically what a scenario is, it's my own little word, it's my own little term. Essentially what it means is sometimes I will overthink things and don't get me wrong, it's good to think things through before you make decisions and before you do stuff, but it can hold you back. Basically analysis paralysis, which means you think about something so much that eventually you become paralyzed and you can't even move forward in whatever you are wanting to do. You thought about the situation too much and then it basically caused you to become paralyzed. And nobody got time for that. But that's what happens. Overthinking everything has been a, a problem for me. It does help me in some situations, but in other situations it does work against me. So the scenarios that come into your head, they come into your head going, oh, I can maybe do it tomorrow or maybe this person might think that or maybe I shouldn't do this it's all the different scenarios that come into your head and they actually stop you from moving forward bro it's all in the mind it's all in the head I'm telling you the war is in the mind that's where it is that's where it is it's in the mind it's crazy it's crazy how everything is to do with your mind you know, all things are possible with God. So if you put your mind to something, you can actually do it. Also, the scenarios cause doubt in your mind. And you may actually have a good sense of believing in yourself and something you want to do in your life. But then the doubt comes in and it starts playing around with your mind. And you start doubting yourself, going, am I good enough? Am I really going to make an impact? You know, things like that. Whatever you're dealing with in your life. It could be asking for a raise at your job. It could be hyping yourself up for a marathon. You know, can I do this? Can I really do this? Or maybe it's even just building up the courage to ask somebody out on a date. It can cover so many things in your life, but the scenario situation and this procrastination can just come in and just steal. And I hate it. I hate it so much. It just makes me excited to conquer this thing and to grow with you guys over time. You know, um, it's definitely an area of my life that I've been wanting to work on for so long. Now, this is the part that gets me tight. This is the part that I hate the most, is that it causes delays. It causes delays in your life, guys. Overthinking everything, having the scenarios come into your head, 
and then eventually procrastinating obviously causes delays now what I mean by delays is that you delay your progress you delay moving to the next level in life you delay success and you're doing yourself a disservice does that make sense and the delays is the worst part you, you know knowing that you can do something and you can achieve it and it's so close within reach but yet you delay yourself it's actually a form of self-sabotage you're sabotaging yourself it's the self-sabotage for me it's the self-sabotage for me <laughs> Bro. that's tough that's tough my guy sabotaging yourself that's the worst forget the devil how about the fact that you are actually sabotaging your own success that's the worst man that's the worst part I never realized how much this affected me in my life until now until recently I finally realized that it was having such a detrimental effect on my life in so many ways bro a lot of you guys are dealing with that as well a lot of us out here are dealing with this no we have to do better we have to do better this year guys the year's not over yet we have to do better do you guys think you struggle with scenarios in your head now that you really think about it now that i've explained it so one of the solutions i think that'll definitely help if you are struggling with this is to pray number one um also number two would be to read your bible and get into that if you haven't got into that before i'm talking about the holy bible you can get them anywhere they got the apps they got everything nowadays let that renew your mind also just push yourself sometimes you actually have to push yourself to do things like this video right now i had to push myself to do this video in the car tonight believe it or not i had to push myself even though i could have done it another time i decided no I'm doing it now so sometimes you just have to just kind of force yourself to do things and then you get that momentum going just challenge yourself challenge yourself you have to sometimes you really do push and prioritize prioritize what's important in your life and what needs to come first and put everything in order in your life compartmentalizing things basically bro those are some ways that can definitely help pull yourself out of that scenario mindset. And I'm growing with you guys too, you know, I'm still on that journey myself. I guess one of my goals moving forward would be to become more consistent, way more consistent. Because I know, I know, I know I have it in me. I know I have it in me. And I'm just, I'm just want to bring it out, bring it out for you guys. And bring it out for myself. You feel me? You feel me? Let me know down in the chat if you guys resonate with this video, if you guys have dealt with this before as well. Or even if you're dealing with it right now, I'd love to connect with you guys. And you know how I said when I first started this channel, I want to keep it real with you guys. So I want to have real conversations with you guys in the chat. Just let me know if you're dealing with it as well. You can be honest with me and we can build this community up, help each other to grow. I would love that. I would love that. So yeah, tap in, tap in. I got some more videos that I'm cooking up for you guys. I can't say anything. You just have to wait and see. So make sure you subscribe. Um, hit my bell notification. Join the family. Join the family. So yeah, we may be down bad, but we're going up. We're going up. We're on that new wave. We're on that new wave. Join the new wave with me. We're going up. And if you watched this video right to the end, chuck a W in the chat w video type it in the comments okay boys and girls just go out there and kill it and give life everything you've got gang gang i love you guys i'll see you in the next video